Hello everyone. So today I am going to explain you simple air cooling system with evaporative cooling. Now let us look at the main parts of this arrangement. This arrangement consists of this part is the main compressor. This portion is the gas turbine. This is the combustion chamber. Now this this part is the heat exchanger, and this part is the evaporator. This part is the cooling turbine, and this is the ambient air, and this is the ram air present here. So, so this is the arrangement of simple air cooling system with evaporative cooling. now what what we have already seen in simple air cooling system that it it had consist of only this portion that is this evaporator was not present in the simple air cooling system now in this system we have added evaporator now wh what is the working of this system uh, from this portion this is the inlet of air this this ambient air this ambient means the surrounding air the air which is present in atmosphere this air is made to enter inside this portion where the compressor or main compressor is present now when this air enters in this portion it is called ram air because here the temperature and pressure of this ambient air or the surrounding air increases slightly so at this portion the temperature and pressure both increases slightly though they do, do not increase to a high value but slight increase is seen in at in this portion of the ambient air now when this ram air is made to enter in the main compressor the pressure and temperature both <coughs> increases to a high rate now this high temperature and high pressurized air is made to enter inside the combustion chamber where from where it is fed to the gas turbine now this gas turbine is used to run or it is used for the continuous working or continuous rotation of this shaft now this shaft is connected with this main compressor so this process is uh, this process of taking in the ambient air and sending it to the compressor is made through this shaft that is we do not need to supply any extra power source so this is a kind of automatic process where this only this air is used to run this compressor now what happens what we require main for the cooling system is this portion this portion this portion is used to run this compressor itself now this compressed air that is the highly pressurized and large temperature air is made to pass through a heat exchanger what happens in this heat exchanger in this heat exchanger from one side we made the ram air to enter in this heat exchanger and from the other side we made this highly pressurized high temperature air to enter now this air which is passing through this portion or through this pipe is of large temperature and large pressure now when the air with ram air enters from this side the temperature is low then the temperature of this air passing through this pipe so this air cools down that is at this point this air is of high temperature and high pressure but at, when it comes out from this portion this temperature drops down so this air cools in this heat <coughs> exchanger now now this air which ram air which is coming from this side it is made to pass in the cooling fan or it is made to send from this portion to atmosphere 
so this ram air is is sent to the atmosphere through this this is the cooling fan so what it do it it send the ram air in the atmosphere or in the surrounding from again so from this portion we are taking in the surrounding air or the ambient air and from this portion we are sending it back to the surrounding now what happens to the air which which comes out from this heat exchanger this he this air now is again made to enter inside an evaporator now what happens in this evaporative cooling it is similar to simple cooling system in construction except the addition of this evaporator between the heat exchanger and the cooling turbine the evaporator provides an additional cooling effect through evaporate evaporation of a refrigerant that is this means that this evaporator consists of refrigerant now this refrigerant can be ammonia or alcohol or water it can be anything so this refrigerant which which is present inside this portion this portion is filled with this refrigerant now what this refrigerant do when the air comes in this pipe it is of large temperature than this refrigerant that is the temperature of this refrigerant is low so what happens again heat exchange takes place in this evaporator so the the air the cool air which is present in this pipe it even cools down further because the temperature of this evaporator is even less than the temperature of this even less than the temperature of the uh, air which is present inside this pipe so the it further cools down in this evaporator now this air is made to send inside the cooling turbine now what happens inside this cooling turbine the air again expands so the air expands in this cooling turbine and it is made to send in the cabin or the place where it is made to use so basically what happens in this with evaporative cooling system we add another evaporator which consists of refrigerant such as ammonia alcohol or water now this this ammonia alcohol or water it further cools down the air which is present here so it provides additional cooling effect and this is the biggest benefit of this additional evaporator so this this helps us to cool the air to the required cabin temperature more efficiently and the work of this cooling turbine is reduced so the output which we, which is provided by us to run this turbine is reduced thus the efficiency of cooling also increases in this evaporative cooling process further it is this simple evaporative cooling system is used in the uh, places where the velocity of the aeroplanes or jets is higher and they run at larger distance from the earth so this system is used at those places more efficiently so this is about simple air cooling system with evaporative cooling thank you